whenever you have another star orbiting the millisecond pulsar, there are var various relativistic ways in which to be able to measure the masses of the two objects. So you can make, measure the mass of the neutron star as well as the mass of the companion object. Sometimes those masses are interesting in and of themselves. For instance, we found some millisecond pulsars that appear to be very massive for most neutron stars. And if you can find a, a, a pulsar that's very massive, then it, it kind of stresses the theories of nuclear physics as to what can actually make up, what, the, uh, well, what can make up the neutron star. What is the interior of the neutron star like? And this is so -called the, the so-called equation of state of nuclear matter. So it basically defines um, how the structure of a, of, a nuclear, of a nucleus of an atom works. But since the pulsar is a big nucleus, it, it defines that as well. So that's another type of basic physics. So we can do nuclear physics on these objects across the galaxy.